This is Tony Baca, Senior Vice President of Safety at Bergling Construction Company. And this week's topic is excavations. And what we have here is a new building coming out of the ground. We've got a mass excavation set up and we're framing our foundation walls, getting ready for concrete placement. There's a lot of things to understand about excavations and soil types. And in this case, looking across at that sheer wall, that soil is cohesive. And being cohesive, it could be classified as what they call a B soil, whereas the granular below it would be classified as the weakest soil, class C. And one of the complications that we had here was that the excavation was not cut properly. It was straight up and down on these foundation walls. And we had to actually stop the subcontractor because the volume of space between the wall and the outside cut was eight feet tall and our men were exposed for a short period of time. So we stopped the work pulled our tradesmen out of the hole, had the excavation contractor come back in and slope and bring that soil away so that our exposure goes away. But excavations are the fourth leading killer in the construction industry. If the soil were to fail and drop down in the hole and the men are up against that foundation wall, stripping that wall, those soils up against the human body being 65% water would crush that man and could feasibly kill him. So excavations are one of the higher exposure risk assessments. So just picture that wall being up another three or four feet and a man standing in there and, and once it rains, all of the soil starts to flow and break down with time because it's a void in the ground and ends up hitting our, our tradesmen. Something else to consider, how do you pour a wall like this? Originally, they had hoped to pull a concrete truck adjacent to the wall and shoot it into the top of the wall. Understand this though, a concrete truck full of concrete weighs 72,000 pounds, which is 36 tons, and that applies a diagonal force to an open void in the ground, and that entire concrete truck can come spilling over into that foundation wall, and if there are men working in that vicinity, they have nowhere to run and get out of that space. So I wanted this to be another safety to do with Berglund about mass excavations, what's required, site safety plans by these excavation contractors, competent people understanding proper procedures. As you can see back in that corner where the wall comes back this way, that wall was too high. So I have the excavation contractor coming back in and pulling more soils up so that that wall behind the men is only three and a half feet tall per OSHA regulations. So this week, excavations, whether mass excavations or trenches, the safety related to excavations, and then also if an excavation takes in a lot of water, all of these soils that would be what you would call cohesive, they now become classified as granular. So water plays a big role in the deterioration of an excavation. You know, we're in late October and November typically brings a lot of precipitation. So we're racing time right now to get this foundation up and poured and strip these forms so that we can waterproof the back of this thing before the snow flies. Let's have a safe day. Let's have a safe week. Thank you.